Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love, uh, the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's get right into your reading, Leo. We will be doing the shells first and then moving to your cards, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of December 2019 in regards to your love and romance. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their love and romance. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Leos. Leos, a lot of you guys have been experiencing perhaps feeling a bit of like loss of energy. This is something you've been experiencing the past couple of, I want to say the past couple of months. Um, and this has a lot to do with the planet alignments that are currently happening. Uh, but you will start to experience a burst of energy and feeling more like yourself, like your playful self again. I do see that there is a trail. So for a lot of you guys, you may be experiencing like a lot of changes in the workplace. For some of you guys, this could be affecting your relationship. Uh, perhaps you are currently experiencing a bit of stress in the work field. Um, I see it very cluttered, uh, like having to sort out either a project or having to sort out some type of uh, balance in the workplace. And I feel that this is more of outside interference than um, yourself personally, Leo. Uh, so I do see, I do want to mention for those of you guys that have been experiencing like a desire to want to change companies or change different work, um, I do see major transitions happening here in regards to that. Now, what they are saying is that for some of you guys, it could be that you've been putting too much effort and energy at work, and it's almost to the point of exhaustion. So that's the reason for those of you guys that are single in the present time, I feel that that's taking up a lot of your time. And there is a need to have some type of structure in regards to every single aspect of your life, not just when it comes to work, basically. Um, now, for those of you guys that are trying to have kids, now is the perfect time um, as I do see you guys extremely fertile and I do see, um, I do see some pregnancies for, for some of you or the majority of you guys that are trying to get pregnant. Now, those of you guys that are not trying to get pregnant, please be careful because I do see you guys, like I said, very, very fertile. Um, and now I do want to mention when it comes to relationships for a lot of you guys, I think that there's been a circling or going around a situation uh, for some of you guys, it could be like relationships that are just not working out for you or that you've been in a relationship. For some of you guys, it could even be like a long-term relationship. Um, as an example, if you've been with your partner for over a year and you don't really see movement or progress in, in that relationship uh, or you're quite hesitant um, about wanting to take it to the next level, uh, you will be experiencing the end of December going into the first uh, two weeks of January where there's going to be a shift in your thinking or in your process pattern. Um, so when, when I hear that, it usually indicates like changing your mind. Um, and this could represent those of you guys that have experienced like fear, more than anything, fear of change um, when it comes to the relationship. It could have been that perhaps in the past, Things didn't go the way you expected. So now you're like really taking your time. Um, but I do see you guys quickly changing your mind and saying, you know what? We're going to go with the flow if this is what the universe is, um, you know, making or brought to me, uh, then I'm going to take action because there's almost a feeling of like now it's time of the essence. Like you need to step it up, Leo. Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, I do see connections around you. And for some of you guys, you may actually be meeting someone or someone is introduced to you and it could be through friends. So it could be like um, a gathering, a family gathering, a social outing, something like that, um, where, the, where you meet this person or this person is introduced to you. And I also do see them, um, the potential of them having children. They can have one or two, two uh, children. Um, I think that this is something that is going to almost impact you in the sense of like really respecting that they're very responsible and they have their pretty much their shit together. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long term committed relationship, perhaps there's children involved. And what spirit is telling you is that you need to balance 
every single aspect of your life. So when they're showing me children here, it usually indicates like putting or making a priority of them and not so much of your relationship. Or for others of you, it could be that you're smothering your children and you need to stop doing that. You need to not overdo um, because in the process of overdoing, you're kind of keeping them or shielding them from the real world. So when they are put in situations of what, you know, what's really out there, they don't really know how to either react or they don't know how to stand their ground. And this is something that uh, could trigger them growing up or if they are already, you know, adults, you need to stop allowing them to depend so much on you because I do, they are saying that there is like some type of smothering type of energy. And I know you Leos could be very protective and that's, that's okay, but you need to find that balance. Now, especially those of you guys that have children um, and are single, what they're saying is that when it comes to children, when it comes to your kids, yes, that's a very important um, aspect of your life. It is part of who you are, but don't use that as an excuse, um, meaning don't use the excuse of, oh, you know, I have to take care of my kids and then I'm, you know, constantly working or whatnot. So I don't really have the time to be social. I don't really have the time for dating because what they're telling you is you've been stuck in this position for a while. So there's need for growth and advancement. And the only way to do that is to get out of your comfort zone, Leo. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, pull out the cards and let's see exactly what's going on for your relationships or partnerships that you currently have, Leo. Okay. All right, so your first card is you, Leo. Wow. This is your current position. So I see you guys very grounded in the sense of very focused. For a lot of you guys, I do want to mention that there are major changes coming when it comes to finances or the way you make um, your money, meaning if the company you work for or anything like that. I, I feel that there's a lot of changes that are going to be quickly happening for you. Now, the obstacle here is the Ace of Swords. So for some of you guys, uh, you're experiencing not being able to communicate or not being able to get your point or your message message across. And this is directly connected to relationships. Obviously, it's a love reading. Um, so try not to hold back, Leo. I know that a lot of the times, uh, especially if we have like confrontational partners or partners that are extremely passionate like us, um, it could become a challenge because anything that you disagree or Anything that you want to communicate could come off as, you know, just you going like pretty much going against them. I feel that that's the energy they're picking up. So it could be confrontational. And for some of you guys, you just don't want to deal with that. I do see you guys a bit tired of the same situation or not being able to communicate clearly. But what the cards are telling you here is that more than ever, you need to be completely honest with yourself and you need to be completely honest with your partner. Only then will you be able to feel, because I feel like you're walking on eggshells and this could be um, this could be the energy of the partner as well as it is a general reading. If you're the one that tends to be more intense and you quickly, it's very fast for you to get upset or to start arguments. Um, Try to keep an open mind and understand that not a lot of the times we're not trying to create problems or we're not trying to create arguments. Uh, if your partner's bringing up some type of conversation or something or a situation that came up, take it with a grain of salt, but pay attention because they're, I feel that they're like not being able to communicate. Like I said, it is a general reading. So this could be how you're feeling as well, Leo. Now in the past and passing, you do have here the three of cups. So the three of cups is feeling very, um, feeling very excited. For some of you guys, you have been experiencing like being very um, outgoing or being out with friends, uh, with family members, loved ones. Again, it could be the holidays. And this is the past and passing position. So you go from that to feeling more centered or feeling more focused. Now, you do have here the Queen of Swords. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. 
Um, but I also do want to mention that for the past, uh, sorry, for the present or the near future unfolding, for some of you guys, um, it could just represent that that there is a need for you to communicate in a way that they're able to understand. So for some of you Leos, if you felt that in the past you've held back, and this could be directly connected to people from your past, as an example, if you have a partner that you're dealing with that is no longer with you, but because there's children involved, you're obviously still dealing with them. Um, and it's like you, you've let them slide. Now it's time for you to speak your mind. If a situation arises where they're challenging you or it comes off as they're just doing whatever they possibly can to get on your bad side, you need to speak up and you need to be completely honest and transparent and don't hesitate about don't hesitate about what you're expecting from them. So the reason I say that again is if you are dealing with children, um, as an example, if they are, you know, just creating tension or they mention something to your child, <coughs> excuse me, and they upset you over a comment or something that they said, you need to pretty much put your foot down. Stop letting them slide. And even if it gets to the point of having the need to have a confrontation, you need to do that. Because you, it's, it's like what they're saying is that enough is enough. You cannot be passive right now, Leo. It's very important. And again, it is very important to get your message across or to get whatever it is that's on your mind um, to actually communicate that, okay? Now, your crowning energy here is the Five of Pentacles. I feel that a lot of people, especially around this time, uh, a lot of people get very nostalgic. A lot of people look towards the past because the holidays, you know, it stirs up kind of emotions, things that uh, remind us of perhaps happier times or happier moments in our lives. And this is your crowning energy, Leo. So there is a feeling of like having lack of something, not necessarily finances, because I do see that a lot of you guys are actually uh, very focused and they are saying that there's a lot of like a lot of work or a lot of hours that you're doing. But for some of you guys, um, for some, it may connect with finances and may feel like you're a little bit tight on your budget. Um, but I think that this is more on an on emotional level. So for some of you guys, the five of pentacles could just represent feeling the lack of connection or the lack of emotional support. Uh, especially those of you guys that are single or have been single for a while. Now, for those of you guys that are in a relationship, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be going through this phase in your relationship where, again, someone is walking on eggshells or someone is feeling very uncomfortable. Um, it's almost that feeling like being in a relationship but feeling still alone or feeling like there's not much emotional support here. And that could be the message that you need to communicate. Now, the next card here is the Emperor card. Again, um, going back to the stability or going back to structure, um, I think that it is very important for us to, again, like I said, balance. Everything in our lives is about balance. Only then can we flourish to the best of our uh, higher self. And with the Emperor card, I feel that structure is something that is going to be very important for you guys, even going into January. Uh, so for some of you guys, it could be that uh, there is changes in, um, in the workplace. For others of you, it could be changes, uh, as an example, uh, changing from one shift to another, changing. There is a lot of changes that are happening, but I think that with the Emperor card, this could be connected to your work. Um, and some of the changes may not be the best for you or you feel like they're not the best for you, but it is necessary as a whole, meaning the whole environment. So just keep that in mind. Now, your next card here is the world card and the world card signifies your advice card. It's in the advice position. So the world card is that a conclusion or going into the next cycle in your life. But this can also represent having to experience life. Um, again, like I said, for those of you guys that have experienced, like, uh, perhaps because you're putting a lot of work, a lot of energy into, uh, your work, 
workplace or your professional life, uh, you've kind of disconnected from you've disconnected from earth. You've disconnected from uh, everything that has to do with you know earthly bound. Meaning, you've forgotten to have fun, Leo. You've forgotten to make some time to enjoy yourself or to even travel. Uh, travel is something very prominent with the world card. And it's almost like because you're so restricted with time or with money or, you know, just putting a lot of effort towards, again, like I said, um, towards the business front, the world card is here to tell you as an advice, you need to take some time off. You need to either try to travel, take a short trip somewhere where you're going to be able to recharge yourself, recharge your batteries, Leo, and also be excited about life itself. Okay. So this is more. I'm taking this more as like you're needing to feed your soul and you're needing to take care of yourself on a spiritual level. Now, your next card here is the full card. And this was the card I was actually looking for because they are mentioning to me a lot of changes, a lot of major uh, shifts happening with you guys. And then I see the full card. <laughs> um, so again, there's a lot of new beginnings for you guys. And this is the energy of those around you. So... I do see that there is going to be momentum um, in regards to changes that are coming your way. But for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, there may be a connection that happens. Um, I want to say the end of January, there's going to be, so this is like going from now all the way to January. Keep in mind when they speak about certain dates, time is fluid. So for some of you guys, it could be a little bit before. For others, it could be a little bit after. But what they are saying is that there's going to be a, um, a meeting of the minds or a meeting of the souls. Uh, and you can actually meet uh, the probabilities of you meeting a person from abroad or a person that perhaps is comes to your area. Um, I see them from a distance, so they may not naturally be from here. Um, but I do see I do see you meeting a new energy that's coming towards you. Um that it's almost like it's kind of predestined, like you're meant to meet each other. Now, for some of you guys, this could be in regards to something that turns into a relationship. For others of you, it could be like meeting a soul or a person that is in your soul family. So it could be a person that you hit it off very quickly and you guys actually get to know each other and they're going to um, have an impact in your life or uh, be around you for quite a while now. And again, for some of you guys, it could be that the meeting happens while traveling. For others of you, it could be that they are traveling when you meet them. Um, but I do see them, uh, you know, like I said, starting something that can turn into something long term. Now, again, uh, they are saying for some of you guys, it's going to be like a person that is from your soul family. For others of you, it could be a relationship uh, or a friendship that turns into a relationship. Now, your next card here is the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is in your hopes and fears position. Uh, for a lot of you guys, again, some of the changes could have directly connection with actually moving uh, or actually changing residency. And that's something very prominent in these readings, as I have been seeing that for a lot of signs. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be that you are actually looking to purchase a new home. For others of you, it could be purchasing your first home or purchasing your first house or changing residency. Again, like I said, but you guys are definitely walking towards something more, more bigger than yourself at the present time. Now, with this world card and the full card, I do want to mention for some of you guys, the lack that you're feeling could be because for a lot of you guys, especially those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, and there's, like I said, a feeling of like not being yourself or not being able to be yourself, Spirit is telling you that you need to go out there and expose yourself. So when I hear that, it usually indicates kind of when we put a lot of effort in the relationship and we kind of forget about everyone else. And it is very important, yes, uh, to maintain a relationship, but at the same time, it's important to maintain the connections that you have with friends, with family members. Don't lose yourself in the relationship because at the end of the day, when relationships don't work, those connections from friends, from family members, those are the, 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 the relationships that still remain. 
So what they're telling you is don't lose sight of that. Just because you get into a relationship, don't forget about the world or those around you. And if you're not in a relationship um, and you're starting to build a connection with someone, don't get so wrapped up into that. So it's almost a feeling like of overdoing. So again, for those of you guys that are currently single and by January you meet this person that's coming towards you and it's exciting and everything, that's great and dandy, but keep your other connections still active, uh, still go out, still have fun. Don't lose yourself or don't lose your identity in relationships, okay, is what they're saying. Um, so again, take that for what it is. Now your next card here is the Hermit card. So I feel that you guys are going to end the year a little bit more enlightened. I think that for some of you guys, you guys have really been tested and trialed this year. Um, and you're going to be feeling, I, I see you guys extremely focused. I see you guys going towards or wanting to achieve goals and also having to need or having the need to find the balance when it comes to your relationships and when it comes to every other aspect of your of your connections or your relationships or your life uh, so with the higher uh, with the hermit card what they're telling you is keep sight keep sight of the goals that you're trying to achieve keep focus yes that's necessary but what's also necessary is to maintain or to remember to feed your soul and sometimes feeding our soul is a simply a simple call with a friend to vent to communicate to don't isolate yourself, especially if you have been experiencing like feeling a bit of sadness or like I mentioned, a bit of nostalgia. Uh, it's okay. And trust me, you're not the only one experiencing that. I do see a lot of signs going through that right now. Um, but it's about remembering the, the experiences that we've had this year and going into the next year focused as well as excited because there's a lot of things that are unknown and are yet to come for you and opportunities, you know. So again, keep that in mind and try to raise your vibration to be able to uh, keep yourself excited and happy going into the new year, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other uh, for the January readings. Bye.